Okay, everybody knows my favorite brand of cigar is Perdermo. Nick makes the best cigars, bar none, in my opinion. And the one I have today is my favorite that he produces. This is the Perdermo Vintage, age 12 years. This is the Sun Grown. Um, I haven't smoked but two of these. The Maduro is the one I usually reach for because I love the coffee and cocoa flavors on it. Um, I've already toasted it, already taken it, and lit it up a little bit because it's getting ready to pour on us again. And you know what that means. I'm not going to do, but maybe a five-minute video. Okay. So, the Sun Grown is a beautiful brown cigar. This is a Churchill. It's uh, 7 by 52 I think. Smooth. Got some spice to it. And a nuttiness as well. This is my third Perdermo today. I had a uh, Connecticut Corona Gorda 20th anniversary on my way down to Tuskegee to the VA hospital. And upon getting a good bill of health, I smoked a sun-grown 20th anniversary Corona Gorda on the way back. And then I stopped and had a beer, picked up the old lady, and we came home. So, now I'm smoking my last Perdermo, the vintage, aged 12 years, sun-grown. Very nice to the retro hail. Slight spiciness. I'm not going to call it pepper. Maybe a little cayenne. Oh, and to kill the cayenne, we must have a beer. Heineken, my last one. Oh, yeah. Cats. Perdermo, just can't beat them. Uh, the thing I like best about Perdermo, the draw is always flawless. The burn is, if it's not razor sharp, it's close to being razor sharp. And the flavors, each cigar has a different flavor and texture and taste. And of course, they all come in three wrappers, the Connecticut, the Sun Grown, and the Maduro. So whether you get a 20th anniversary or whether you get a 10th anniversary or whether you get... Uh, a nick stick, whatever, you're always going to get a superior cigar. And if your tastes change, you can just reach for another Perdermo. I mean, it's not unusual for me to have 20, 30, maybe even 40 Perdermos in my humidor. Flawless construction. Look at that thing. That is just a beauty. Vintage, age 12 years. Absolutely. Got a little sweetness to it, too. Now, I bought these on the Alabama side because in Alabama, this beautiful cigar goes for about 10 bucks. If I go over to the Georgia side, it's closer to 14 to $15. Lower taxes in Alabama. Love that retro hail. It is a little cayenne, but it doesn't linger. The finish is mild on the on the palate. Still there, but it's not heavy. There we go with that burn. Okay, so tell me what you're smoking tonight. Have you had these cigars? If so, in which wrapper did you prefer it? Uh, let me know. Comment down below. If you haven't tried it, I'm telling you it's one that you really need to, especially the Maduro. Now, going from Phoenix City, where I work, to Tuskegee, where the Veterans Hospital is, it's about... Uh, 
Well, it's about an hour drive, maybe a little bit less. So I smoked a Corona Grande going down, which is smaller than a Churchill. And then I smoked another one coming back and one cigar each way. It was a perfect trip. Didn't even turn the radio on. I just sat there and enjoyed my cigar while I was driving. Mm. Wow, so smooth. And that's the thing, you know, every Padermo cigar has tobacco that's been aged a minimum of six years. Six years. It's fantastic. All right, let's take another pull off the beer. So there we have it. Once again, Perdermo Vintage Age 12 Years in Sun Grown. Look at that beautiful wrapper. That's exquisite. All right, with that, I'm going to leave you. Curry and good night.